Feeney is uh, quite into it. Mm. Hello, everyone. I think Twitch. Yes. Okay. Um. Can I do like this? I'm still getting used to this new dashboard. It's so weird. Um. But I think. Yeah. That. Okay. I think that should be good. Okay. And then we can hide that. They just, I don't know. I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'm going to do the usual things. The tweeting and the discording. And the inviting of you to uh, subscribe if you're in the future watching on YouTube and you love nail art. And of course, if you would like to join me live, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash Um, We're going to be peeling this off. And then we're going to be working with glitter. But I, I may or may not have changed my mind on the direction that the glitter is going to be taking. So there's that. Hi, son. Um, yeah, I, uh, well, we'll, we'll get there. We're going to have to start a new page. I feel like these are some very like, uh, target and precise testing little notes over the last couple days, like just a little small section for each one. And I'll probably have a little small section for today too. So, um, I feel like the, the series is going, I mean, like there's a lot going on, but I feel like it's been going very well. Is this not the pencil with lead in it? Um, okay. Is this the pencil with lead in it? I guess so. What is today? The 11th? The 12th? 12th. Ugh. Um, what was I putting? Just the days that it was and the thing and the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this will be days seven and eight. Glitter placement. I'm not sure if I'm still going with the snowflake idea for the glitters. Because I was sitting here and I was like, what if I did like a waterfall with the glitters? Like how, you know, how would that turn out? Let me uh, get the camera mounted up here. Sorry for the shaking. Probably should have done this before I started, but I didn't. So... Yes, yeah, so we have a lot of glitters that I kind of already had pulled out to have um, like icy blue sort of a this sort of a vibe. Mm. How, how big? Yeah, that's fine. Um, like turquoise, shiny blue. We got a silver hollow in there. Not all these are actually glitters. Camera white balance. Are you, are you just. Yeah, I like, I mean, this, this feels super wintry to me. Just this kind of turquoise, even this one, this one's like a little bit more blue than turquoise. So I had also pulled out like these are bar glitters. I, I don't know if the camera will. Oh. Okay, so we have... These are bar glitters. <gasps> camera! Thank you, camera! Good, good job. And they're very pretty, but I only have one of those. These are tiny little beads... Um, and I only have one of those too, and those are kind of difficult to use. And then these are uh, come on, camera. These are little flakies. 
camera. Come on, you were doing so good. Too sh too shiny. Ah, uh, it's just struggling. But hopefully, you, you, oh, there we go. You know, this is like uh, kind of like flakies, but like much bigger than you'd ever find in a polish of like cellophane. Which I mean, I could make myself. I have two rolls of cellophane and then some. These are almost all the same shape except for these, which are in fact hexagons. I think that's why I kept them out. Camera. Um, it was doing so good, and now it's just I don't know. Like, if I could just, like, find a way that it, uh, that I could just, like, reliably get it to cooperate with me, other than, there we go, putting it fully manual. This also is actually a good shot of the, uh, the chip on the tip of my index nail. But you can see, it's like little hexagon, open hexagons, and the little dots that go inside them. So, I originally was planning on doing something with these and snowflakes snowflakes as we've as we've previously discussed are six-sided hey caters organizing your nail drawers more power to you i need i need to do that i very much need to do that so if i if i take this one away which because like i was thinking i was like there there aren't a lot of the uh like the inside solid hexagons in here oh it's not gonna want to focus again is it oh like you can see it's mostly like the the open ones and I was like I don't know I just wasn't feeling it I was like okay so then we're left with these we have six slightly different hues of turquoise and blue um like a small a small small hexagon smaller than the other ones come on come on camera there we go so I mean they're they're not like big but they're not like teeny tiny so I was like well okay maybe I can make a snowflake out of that and then I was like, it still seems like it would be big for a snowflake. And then I was like, maybe I can just do a waterfall out of this. Um, so I think what I need to do, number one. Okay, let me see if these are in here like I kind of think they are. Yeah, okay. We have some tops here. We have four. Is that all that is in here? Oh, one more. Oh, you're kind of gross. Mm, I'm tempted to throw that away. I don't want to put that on camera at any rate. Because it's dirty. Um. Yeah, it's the only other one in there. I could make a few more or I could have a couple share I mean I've got six so I could put two in each but that almost feels like asking for trouble right <laughs> I mean I, I better just make a couple more <laughs> that's what I think so or or not have them all out at the same time I mean, I kind of would like to just be able to go back and forth between them. Like if I'm doing them as a waterfall. So, you know, picture one and then the next and then the next and then the next. Then, you know, you know, in that jagged sort of a pattern. I don't want to have to be like, well, okay, I want, you know, working with just a couple colors at a time. Like I want one of this here and, you know, five of this here, whatever, like. Am I, I don't know if I'm making sense. 
it's easier to do that with polish I feel like like I don't usually alternate the colors with polish but with this I feel like I would want to work a nail at a time because the spacing is going to be different given that they're like this I mean they're they're tiny for a glitter but they're still like much wider than like a stroke of a of a striper brush would be so okay let's make a couple more lids so that I can have them all out anyway and then for the water marble so the I think almost all of what we have left in the series is gonna be um, like accomplished with ghost marbles because I'm employing techniques that are like not directly translatable otherwise unless unless I make this more complicated by putting it over some kind of a blue gradient rather than just like I was planning on just like a plain white so I'm just um so like if I, if I just did them on a plain white background then I could just do a white ghost marble hello why will this not ah snip it's like the little thick part um I could just do a white ghost marble and then fill in sections like completely with glitter but if I do the waterfall on a gradient base I could water marble with the colors of the gradient and just do uh, more accents of glitters rather than how much more work do I want to make the water marble if I want to make the water marble simpler then I would make this design more complicated or vice versa I think but also which would be like actually cuter I mean part of me kind of wants to have I mean like imagine something like this but like done in in glitter I mean it's, it's it is glitter but like a done, done in this kind of glitter hmm or we, we probably should at least still give the snowflake a try and see how these look if they're like laid out like as a snowflake like maybe I would like it okay oh these little tops I don't like these I'm gonna use can I use this tweezers it'll fit right in here and carefully oh okay we're just gonna we're just gonna lay you completely down in here each each jar yeah no this is a good idea each jar is gonna have its own little oh there was okay there was some inside of the lid i see oh gosh yeah no <laughs> imagine okay <laughs> imagine thinking that i could get away with with sharing lids though i mean really Ooh, food i want to know what's for dinner i haven't i haven't quite decided what's for dinner I just had pasta the other night, but pasta sounds kind of good again. Okay, some of these are like a lot tighter than others. <laughs> I can see Dr. Crotron coming out of a lurk just to just to take that quote out of context. <laughs> oh, this one's okay.
Are these? You know, these are really weird colored. Like they only start showing up blue at certain angles. Other angles, they're there. You see how they're like just not blue anymore? Now they're blue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> ah, the 90s. Mm. Whoa. I don't know why that happened. I did it just the same as all the others. Um, I think I got these glitters at a dollar store. They came in like little packs of maybe four. Okay, we gotta be really careful with these, you guys. This is dangerous. Six containers of glitter are open on my desk. And we've already spilled one. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Okay. <laughs> I mean, no. I mean, I would want to get something else to go with those, but God, that'd be a delicious dinner. Bread? Oh my God. Bread with cheese extra oh my god <laughs> hello Claire yeah no I I tend to I tend to get quoted out of context often I don't I, I don't know how it happens <laughs> I mean we've we've already had glitter disasters this 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 series Trianera um uh, one of my fine glitters, the silver that I used in this, spilled inside the shoebox that I'm using to... I don't know if you can really still see, but it was... Whoa. It was this glitter spilled all over the inside of the shoebox that is housing the 12 Days of Christmas stuff. Um, speaking of, we're going to need base and top coat. So I, I kind of need to decide, I guess I need to decide, am I doing a waterfall or am I doing a, a snowflake? Am I doing a straight up white background? Will certain of these, this one in particular, even show up against a white background? Am I, how, how much of a hell of a time am I going to have getting these things back inside these jars? Stay tuned on twitch.tv slash Coletta MSLP. This one too, I think. You can kind of see. Let me not dump it out any further. Well, as, as I say that. Like sometimes it's looking real turquoisey and sometimes it's getting a little, like the ones that are scattered off to the side, more purple. And what am I using to stick? My yellow stopper is a wall and also almost empty so we need to make another choice on that and also i'm gonna need okay i'm just kind of lining these all up like toward the top of my miracle mat with at least like some glitter dumped out mm, toothpick Oh, please tell me I have a toothpick up here. No. Really? What happened? Okay, there's one. Come here. I should just have a box of toothpicks. Oh, okay, I need to actually, it's like too safely put away like I can't I can't grab it oh that's not a toothpick it's a tiny orange stick I'm trying to grab it with a tweezer okay why does this look like it was like sawed off and sheared off and lost its whole side here 
I don't I don't want to use that. I don't like it. Hold on. I'm just going to get a, a new orange stick, even if it is bigger than I would want. All right, this should be fine. Uh, if I were water marbling with it, I would uh, sharpen the point a little bit. But I'm I'm gonna be doing glitter stuff with it. I'm almost tempted to blunt the point a little bit, but I think I'll leave it as it is and see how it works since these are pretty small glitters. <clears throat> see, see, Nightbot has my back. You want you wanted it to randomly pick something horrible. Purple squirrel, thank you for the <clears throat> thank you for the host. Okay, apparently. You know, I kind of changed my mind, like not completely, but, um, on the whole me being sick front. Cause I've been, I've been, my voice is kind of refusing to come back and, uh, I kind of been like congesting stuffy, but we can't let that stop us. It's still fucking 12 days of Christmas y'all. I, I'm so sad to take this off. I really am, but we have, we have to move forward. And that means we got to test out these glitters. <clears throat> um I thought about using the Hollow Taco long lasting base. Uh but it it did like I did just like a small swatch of it on a piece of paper and it it like actually does carry a hint of blue with it. So if I were to like do it over the white then it would be obvious that something was going on. Um I keep I keep just waiting for my yellow stopper to magically appear out of thin air or something. Um I need I I think I would prefer just like a different clear. Do I have a clear Zoya or something maybe? Yeah, I did I remember seeing this in here. What is this? Oh, this is a top coat though. Okay, so I don't like using top coats to stick things because uh, top coats are designed to be shiny, not tacky or not like sticky. They don't have, the top coats don't have grip to them. Taco, you know, they're meant to be glossy. I like using just like a regular polish or a base because I usually have better luck. Hey, music gal. I'm, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to use to stick things down because I don't know where my yellow stopper, what remains of it. I don't know where it is. Um, bonder would also be a good option. And I don't know where my bonder, like literally where are I like it. I feel like I don't have anything except for my regular base and top coats out. They have to be somewhere. Are they in here? That well, that's one, but I don't want to use that. My base coat for neons, which is basically just a white. Of course, maybe that would. Hmm. Uh, the thing is, Bonder should not be that far away because I did use it relatively recently. I just, I apparently put it. Okay. Oh, is there a desk clean off box right here? Is it in here? Um, whoa. Um, I think this is a desk cleanup box. Because it's got, like, multiple brands in it. There's, like, Essie's in here. There's Zoya's in here. There's Colors by the Bro in here. There's Sinful Colors and Sally and Revlon. Ooh, it's holographic pearls. But there's not any Bonder in here. I, it, it's like they're literally they're probably it, it's probably sitting wherever the hell my matte top coats are which I'm gonna have to like that's a thing that has to happen because I wanted to use the mat with the coal possibly man like literally what possibly could I have done with them I mean I there's a lot of stuff I mean 
there's a lot of unorganized stuff, but this is stuff that like shouldn't be lost. I don't know. I don't know what to say. There's another box over there, but I think that is mostly Zoya's. I, I just need to take a moment and clean. I mean, that really is all it comes down to. Just get organized. I need to... I need to find my matte top coats by four days from now. Okay. Let's move. Let's move forward with what we have. We will, man, it's that feeling though, like where I feel like I'm, I'm, I could be looking right at it and just not realizing it, like not seeing it. You got, you guys have watched that happen to me before. Like, I don't know. Like that's, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where I would have put them because well I guess maybe that's part of the problem I had never decided where they were going to go within the collection once everything was sorted into Helmers do they go with their brand like this Zoya one currently is in which case maybe it's just sitting there in the orly drawer or is there going to be a whole drawer that is nothing except for clear polishes and top coats and base coats or are clear polishes treated the same as top coats and base coats oh my god we can't go down this rabbit hole right now Yes, we're going to quote unquote swatch all these glitters. So, we got a blue and another blue. <laughs> they just look like little dots to you guys. I'm sorry. I don't the color as they present themselves in the bottle um like against themselves is not the color that they present on the paper except from certain angles Like, this makes me question the white base. Oh, there we go. But there... Do I, do I want a black base? Yeah, I mean, I have some regular clears, too. <sighs> you know, invisible. I might be able to find invisible. That might be in the Sally Hansen drawer. I'm just trying to think. I'm like, where are all the, all of them? Like, a couple that I can think of. I know the Wet n' Wild clear is not with the other clears. Because I like it for using to make decals. But I don't have a decal-making shoebox. So, if it's not with the Wet n' Wild, where did I put it that seemed logical at the time? Oh my. So, they do behave very differently over a black base. that's not just the camera like that's that's real life too so the white you get like inaccurate colors and then like you get the turquoise the black it's almost like fucking invisible and then you get the turquoise this is 
like kind of problematic because I like both of them. Mm. Yeah, they are very finicky for water marbling. That's why I like water marbling with the scattered hollow taco. Mats surprisingly also can work well for water marbling. Do I need to find a blue to test this on? I mean, do I want to go like, maybe I do want to go. Of course, actually, the more I think about that, the more I probably do not want um, a gradient base. However, however they're reacting, I want them to be reacting all the same. Of course, except for that one little silver one. Pling, pling. Um, hmm. A blue might work, but then that would beg the question, of then what, then how are we accomplishing the ghost marble if we don't stick with white or black as a basic base? <clears throat> oh, the water marbling clear? Where did you, uh, which one did you get, Musical? Yeah, I like Sally Hansen Invisible. Sometimes even that, though, can get, like, tacky. Um, cleared for takeoff. I don't know if that is actually sold anymore, that line that that's from. But that's also Sally Hansen. Oh, the glistening glow. You like them. I don't I don't have anything from them. If I were... If I were of a of a polished purchasing mood, I would, I would give glistening glow a try. Because it seems like... I, I know a lot of people that that like them quite well and I like haven't ever tried them I mean like right okay just like off the top of my head I'm inclined to go with the white the the idea of of a design that's invisible part of the time does intrigue me but I feel like it would be not satisfying as a tutorial I like both of them I feel like the white would would film better. You know what I mean? If I if I wanted to, sh I feel like whatever I wanted to show on the dark one, just the camera would refuse to do. Like I can do it. I can I can shift the perspective here enough, but I feel like I'll start doing it on my nails, and I would just be having a hell of a time. Because it do, it does like kind of appeal to me. It has kind of a new year's sort of a vibe with the way that it's like low key and then all of a sudden it's like chling chling <clears throat> nachos and carrot cake mm. yeah well and I would say I mean it, it's not exactly the same, but I would say that a water marbling polish would be closer to the base and top coats than to a regular polish. It, in, in that it's more about the formula than the color. You know what I mean? It, it's clear. You don't, you don't care about the color. You care about how it reacts. Like, I feel like when it's clear, you would have more freedom to just do like whatever the hell you want to make it do the thing that you want. Whereas with colors, you got to deal with like pigments and other stuff and how they interact with the whole thing. I don't know if I'm like way overthinking it, like scientifically speaking. Um, I don't know, but that's this, this whole thing is about sharing my thought process. And even if my thought process is a little bit congested, um, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm leaning, I'm leaning white. You guys, what do you think? the the black though what the black makes me want to do is revisit this for new years with some other colors maybe maybe or maybe even with these colors there i have more colors of this though do you guys want to see or do you guys just remember yeah white is a little bit more holidays especially because we've done two it'll be coming after this and the uh where's one of the few good peelies of this the oh this wasn't even the full one this was one of the ones that messed up do i not have a decent peely okay yes i do 
So for anyone who missed it, the day prior to this was uh, textured sugar plum dotic here. Like no top coat on that glitter. And then we did the water marble for day six. So this will be day seven and eight. I mean, I feel like, I feel like the black could be like, okay, such an epic fucking water marble too. The white, the white could be too though, right? Okay. We're going to, we're going to do the white. I, I feel like that, like th there's like so many reasons that I like the black and they're all just because like, I like dark colors and shit more. But if I, if I look at it from a more holiday perspective, of course, this could be like Christmas lights at night or something like I know, but like the white does feel a little, just, just a little bit more holiday. I think it'll record easier and I think it will balance the series more because we're coming off of a dark one. But like, I want to do something with the dark one. Um... What what else did they, what what did maybe you've already picked? What else do they have to pick from? Hopefully something good. Maybe maybe some gingerbread something. I have a gingerbread cupcake downstairs that I can have with dinner. Can't start thinking about that yet. We haven't even done a peel. So I'm thinking white for right now. Oh wait, I'm not done testing though because we wanted to test and see. So like, there's a possibility that maybe I'm wrong and I should do snowflakes. I I think brownie too. I'm picky about brownies, but I'm probably more picky about cheesecake. Like I don't like like a dense cheesecake. Like I like a fluffy. I like like a jello cheesecake basically. <laughs> Just soft and delicious. All right, so I'm using these. I think these will be a good example. See, is this already like drying out a little bit? I don't know, I'm gonna have to be mindful. Like if I wanted to actually go ahead and like glitter placement myself a snowflake I would have to be in a very patient mood oh and this is gonna okay. what was that hello hello Bean Like, even if I only did one per nail, wolf doll, wolf doll. <laughs> I mean, honestly, not that the waterfall is going to be that much less work. But it's not going to be as precise. Like, I mean, we're we're just barely getting started here. But I do, I quite like the way it pops out with top coat too. Like this is giving me an idea of what the what the waterfall will look like. Oh. No, I I I don't I don't I don't think that's happening today. Cheese moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no I guess I mean they could call it that and I'd still eat it yeah cause cheese 
that that's not happening today. So <laughs> we're going to be moving forward with the waterfall idea. Um, can I put this by you, Bane? Is that is that okay with you? Okay, let's let's hope that this peels off nicely. That's uh, that's my hope. I can see I've got some lifting here. Um, I've actually had a couple corners that I reinforced down with a little bit of like base coat. <clears throat> I'm hoping we get a good peel. I I don't know. I mean, it's a mix of regular polish and gel, but. I'm also skeptical of my Madame Glam top coat. Okay. Like, it's just, it's weird at this point. It's acting abnormally. I wish I could remember, too, which, which nails I ended up having to, uh, reinforce like I feel like I can't get this corner here and I'm like is this just on here or is this one of the ones that got stuck extra see like that came up pretty nice oh gotta go thanks for popping in music gal have a good night Wait, hot hot chocolate flavoring like like hot chocolate to drink or hot chocolate to go on top of the brownie? I'm picturing like hot chocolate like <laughs> drizzled over the brownie. Mmm. I'm, I'm kind of jealous of your dinner, son. I might have to see if I can recreate some of that. If I'm like in the mood not to just rush by the time I'm done. Penny, what did your tail ever do to you? <laughs> yes, he is chasing. Penny! <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can actually like hear the like rustling of him like rucking up the blankets. But he is uh and decided that his tail must pay. Hello, where are you, Edge? Oh, there you are. Is that one of the ones I had to restick down? Maybe. <laughs> Beanie. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got plenty of things to drink. I've got water. I've got a replacement tea. For when my, my initial tea runs out. There we go. All right. Cross your fingers for a good peel. Yes, Amethyst, you are just in time. <laughs> he's so adorable. He's just sitting there like... And he's gazing at his tail. <laughs> and then he attacks it and bites it a little bit. <clears throat> Please give me good peelies. Okay. Okay.
Mm-mm. Okay. Like, I tend to get a little crack on a lot of them toward the bottom. I don't know. I really want this one to come off nice. This is one of my favorites. Yeah. Oh, 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 it's so good. Such a perfect little peely. So, I kind of want to blame the prior day's bad peel on the black gel base color possibly not being fully cured. Um... Even this top coat, I would say, and we, like, ex excessively cured this, just to be on the safe side, because we had a flash cure, too. It, like, it's not as hard as I, I would expect a cured gel polish to be. So, I don't know, but these, I mean, for mostly speaking, really nice peel. This is with the, uh, with the peely base. Yeah, this one was one of my favorites. We got, like, perfect fucking peel. No cracks or splits or anything. And just in case you forgot, like, ooh, yeah. They were, I, I'm sad I didn't get to wear them longer. Okay, so it's at 7 a.m. Did you forget about it, son, or were you just not in the mood for tea? All right, we have some cleanup to do. Um, we did use gel on top, but the base was actually just regular polish, so the cleanup shouldn't be too bad. Let's actually take these peelies and dump you guys over there. I guess I could have put them there with those peelies, but those peelies need to be like, some of that's just junk before I add them to the, the peely collection. Mmm. Mmm, chicken fried rice. All these things sound delicious to me okay yeah for a minute I was thinking I was like oh god it's gonna be such a hassle to get all this black off but then I remembered it's not Joe so um actually I don't want to use that one for this where's just a regular Oh, fuck. I've got a break in this nail. Where did this come from? <sighs> okay, you want to know what literally actually the most irritating part about this is? I have ordered fresh patching supplies and they get here fucking tomorrow. Oh. Which means if I want to deal with this right now, I got to use the old shit that I currently have available. But I mean, obviously I can't just leave it. Uh, oh. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, I just, I'm honestly confused. 
we have a break that we're watching right here. That that real nice look like some Paula stuck in there. Yeah, like that's a break that I really can't fuck with too much right yet. That's why we ordered new patching supplies. Because that's eventually going to get to the point where something has to be done about it. I'm I'm just taken aback and caught completely off guard. I mean, now I gotta fucking deal with that. That that wasn't in my schedule. It's got like a little bit of. I can tell it's gel. There is some gel stuck on the underside. It's a pain in the back. Pain in the butt. Well, I guess your butt is in the back. Caters, I got a I got a break. I got a mysterious break that I didn't even know was there. I got another spot right here. That's actually a, a great a great view. It's not quite a break yet. I'm keeping an eye on that. And then get this random break like literally out of nowhere. on my ring finger of all things like I never break my ring finger Ugh. yeah no if it, if it was if this was December 26th honestly yeah but not during the yeah not during 12 days of Christmas not not that short at least if it was if i had just lost a corner or something probably i have so little tolerance for patching but it's the 12 days of christmas man and i mean that's it's low oh it's low it's just low it's just high enough to not be painful but it's low I mean, look at that, you guys. How, how did this happen? I mean, I'm okay. I'm I'm not like I'm I'm a little salty, but I'm mainly salty because when I break a nail, like I'm I know it. I mean, you you guys know. I, I couldn't tell you the last time I took off a manicure and discovered a break that I didn't already know about. Yeah, I, I went round for a year at one point. We always kind of joke about it now. It's like the year that everything was round, including it was it was in the 12 days of Christmas because I cut my nails down right before it. And I still got a lot of breaks because I'm just that clumsy. I, I'm so... I'm a bit taken aback, to be honest. I just am. And I mean, really, my nails are short. This this is short for me. I filed them before we started this, this manicure that I just took off. Because the, cause the dots came off so early, I had time to just, like, file them neaten them up they so they were shorter already than i i just i literally am baffled that's that's the word baffled <sighs> grumble grumble <sighs> at least i do have some patching supplies hey gidge I just, I know from the last time I used them, they're not like <laughs> within their best used by data. I don't know. The gel in particular, like once it starts being partly gone, it's kind of like Sesh V. No matter how nicely you are to it, no matter how close, tightly you close it, like there's going to be some thickening. So cilantro cilantro on nachos boo i'm leaving the i'm not even though i'm going to be doing this i'm not messing with the thumb break yet maybe once we get some real nice new liquidy glue 
we'll just let some glue get all down in there but I'm just afraid that anything I do to it at this point is going to make it worse and it's just too low to risk that happening so nothing is being done to the thumb right now yeah index and thumb I wouldn't even be surprised they're repeat offenders but man I'm I'm just I'm a little bit shocked. Okay. Is this just there? Man. Okay. This better be where I think it is or we're really going to have a problem. <laughs> um Oh, hey, wait, what's this? Ooh, I have one of these. How old is this? I didn't know I had this. It, it's hard to tell. Like, how much is even in here? How, are you thick inside of there? It's never been opened. It feels hard. Oh my god, how old is this? Is it dried up inside of there even though it's never been opened? Fuck. I got excited for a minute, y'all. I thought we had a wonderful solution on our hands. Alright, Daikini. I hope you sleep well. Um... So not this box and not, okay, move the folders, not this box, yes, okay, <gasps> yellow stopper, okay y'all, oh wow. That's how much yellow stopper we got. So I guess I'm still not using that. I need to decide if I like this well enough to get some more. I might. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I got it on clearance. I don't know if I'm willing to pay full price for it. <clears throat> Back to the drawers. Oh. Okay. We have like a couple squirts in here. I hate this shit. It stinks. Yeah, Beanie's far, Beanie's far away and he's already still looking at me like, what are you doing? Daikini, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Four months of support. Thank you for being a part of my community. And congratulations to anybody who got one of those emotes that Daikini's resub shared. Ha ha holidays. Um, okay. I'm not very good at this anymore either. The last time I had a break, right after my car accident, like, I had a hell of a time getting it to not fail like I would get it and then the next day it would just fail so we'll see it's got like a little bit of polish stuck in there that might just be in there or can I can I get it with the orange stick with the where's my tiny tweezers where's the pointy ones okay I don't think we can get that out of there I would have liked to 
but we can't so what we're gonna do is get a bunch of glue and get it to go in there well not glue lightless gel how, how sticky is this uh, could be worse Just like let it flow down in there in between the break. Kind of smooth it out. spray make sure to get it under the nail if you do the underside Ugh. um the plan is glitter placement as soon as we get this break dealt with I don't know if I should add another another coat or if I should just leave it as is. Almost fully cured. <sighs> yeah, I don't feel a lot worse, but I don't certainly feel any better. Really kind of congested. I can kind of breathe. Like congested and dry and like sinusy and I don't know. Not like flu or anything. I just kind of don't feel good. And the voice. Oh, thanks, Gidge. Uh. Okay, which part of that was not dry? What the hell? Reasons why I hate working with this shit. You think it's dry and then you fucking touch it and then it's goddamn not dry. Okay. That took some of the uncured part off. Need to apply some more. Ew. Make sure to get the edge. Mm. Okay. That's your quota. We're not even halfway through the month. That's a pretty low quota. Is the quota just for me or did I, I use up like everybody's? Try to make sure that's clear before I put it away. That repair set in particular is something that if you have a Sally's available, it may, it really is worth it to get at Sally's. I was comparing because I was like, maybe I'll just order from Amazon. <clears throat> Everybody's. Sorry, everybody. 
Gidge is a button. It's apparently my fault. See, the edges are done, but the sides are not done. So are you just like a little thicker? Did I like not get you with the cure spray? What is going on here? Oh, Cause with the cure spray, it should only take like literally a minute. So I'm not like being impatient. I'm just trying to see if I if I did it right. <laughs> yeah. So can you guys hear? Um, let's give it like a super quick little buff. Fairly nondescript. I mean, it's shiny, but... quick patch I don't expect it to hold long honestly like I said the last time I had to do this it, it like refused to hold more than a day or two but hopefully as long as this stuff stays on schedule I should have fresh gel and fresh glue to use tomorrow See, like this one, mm, I can feel it. Like, it, it could definitely use something on it, but I just, I don't want to lift it up to let the glue in there. I need glue that's thin enough to just, like, flow in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Oh my god. My man, it, I thought it was like not as cold as like the past couple days, but it's chilly. Okay, super quick cuticle push. Um, maybe a potty break, and then we'll get to the waterfall. And we have six lids of glitter here. We're gonna be using six different kinds of glitter, and just glitter placementing on them. Glitter placementing is that a is that a thing? <laughs> Thank you, Amethyst. What are we faxing? No, not the not the cilantro nachos. <laughs> yeah, I think you. Yeah, that's a great shot. It looks like a break. It's not a break yet. It's just the top layer. That is an extremely unfortunately placed peel is basically what that is. But it is creating a weak spot in the nail and it could very easily develop into a break. So... <laughs> I've never had a cat that liked to suck on blankets but Frisky used to drool like she would just get so comfortable and so laid out that she would just drool maybe when I take my break we'll be able to lure Bean back over here What do you think, Benny? You gonna come back over here? Ooh. 
Zebra Angel, thank you so much for the sub. I thank you so much for using your prime here. Welcome to my little community. And thank you and congratulations for sharing emotes in chat. Congratulations to people that got them. Ha ha holidays. They're actually like they are mostly pretty funny. Even though some of them I'm like, wait a minute, I don't I don't know this meme. <laughs> I don't know this meme. <laughs> I think it's till it's till the end of the month, so you've still got time, son. Plus, I know you have some. You just don't want the ones that you want. You just don't have the ones that you want, which is always true with the special emotes. You never get the quote unquote good ones like up front. <laughs> there was a lot of gift subbing going on last night, a lot of celebration. A lot of a lot of wine being drunk. <laughs> Yeah, I like that little cat one. See, like, that's one of the ones, like, I don't know where that is from. Like, unless it's something different than it looks like when I when it gets big. What does it look like big? No, I, I don't know what that's from. Yeah, the deer one is good. Julia's emotes are hella good. So, Amethyst enjoy those while you have them there's uh i think there were 14 last night because one got rejected for having too short of an extension so she was going to resubmit that one for 15 and then she had two more to upload for 17 but because everybody was just going batshit crazy with the subs last night she's got 26 open slots total so she still needs like nine more emotes made it was kind of funny because her emote artist was in chat and everybody was like giving them shit like as each milestone was getting reached I was like ah you got work to do get busy <laughs> wait is tomorrow Friday I guess so I didn't really think about that Friday the 13th this like a perfect year for like some uh Nightmare Before Christmas type of shit. Yeah, I love the sip. The sip is super good. And the Bob Ross one, of course. Oh, you didn't use the Bob Ross one, Amethyst. Maybe one of the sips was supposed to be a Bob Ross. <laughs> Okay. I'm probably giving these cuticles slightly more attention than they deserve, but I don't know. They they asked me for it. <laughs> Butt spot, yes. This uh this one. I love it. He, she, he, she got it while she was painting the door. She was Bob Rossing it up, and Pal was like, "Check your DMs." And there was the Bob Ross Julia. Hey, Pound, welcome on in. We are we are almost time to start the actual manicure. Once I finish with the cuticles. How long have we been going? We've been going over an hour, so I guess that's not just my imagination and or my tiny old lady bladder. I actually have been going for a while, so we're going to take a bathroom break. Well, I'm, I'm going to take a bathroom break. You're also welcome to take your own individual bathroom break. Um, <laughs> And then we're going to get going. What is this little... Okay. 
soon as I just show these cuticles who's boss a little bit more. And I think I'm just gonna go. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna plan it out, you guys. I'm not gonna plan out every little thing, how I'm gonna rotate the colors, which one's gonna be tall and which one's gonna be short. We're just we're just gonna fucking go for it. It hurts my heart a little bit just to even think about it. But we're just gonna go for it. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm old. I'm pre- I'm pretty sure I'm old. I'm old and I'm also uh, juvenile, as we've as we've discussed before. <laughs> I, okay, you're not super old unless you're old enough to be my parents, and you're not that old, son. So you're also still just old. It's okay. There's nothing wrong. See, okay, here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with being old, people. It's fine. It's fine. Not like, ha ha, you're old. Like, it's fine. You know, fucking pushing 40. It's fine. Can I claim pushing when I'm not like a single year away? <laughs> like, how old do you have to be to be pushing 40? Is there uh These These are what we're going to be playing with. Should we dump out a little bit more of these? Ooh. <gasps> Glitter. Okay. Gotta, gotta be careful getting enthusiastic with that every now and then. <laughs> getting ready to start the assembly. Take a deep breath, Amethyst. Get yourself some wine, but only like a wine, like a glass of wine. Like you don't want to be drunk. You just want to be relaxed. And then, I don't know. Do you already have like a sample one put together? Just do like one and then like assembly line. I mean, that's what I would do. I would ha- I would give me a re- nice reference one and then I would just assembly line the shit out of that. 39.5 before you can count pushing 40? But then I can't claim it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, okay, I just made a comment about my old lady bladder, Dr. Croton, and people were like, you're not old. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Croton. Dr. Croton, look at these pretty, pretty things that we're gonna be playing with. There's Hollow. Where's Dino? Dino, Dino has shit to do apparently lately. That clip was perfect for for the last one. <laughs> Doc is butt. Aw. I mean, I wish I could assume that you meant that you were peachy, but I know you better than that, Dr. Kurtron. The bottom right, bottom right for you. So this one. Yeah. And they're all, it's like I was kind of having trouble organizing them like dark to light. And especially considering how they actually show up. Okay, so we got some different lighting angles. Okay, so that's kind of what they show up over white. And then, like, when you get the reflect, then you get like that. Over black, they disappear, but you still get the reflect. We're going to be working over white, we decided. Um. In the top right. Yeah, they're all very... can Can we focus here, camera? Maybe? Any focusing? Like it's trying so hard. Just just focus. Ooh, it's focused. Um yeah, I'm gonna go so that I can come back. I'm gonna get you guys some music. Can't believe it like actually took me a couple times before I thought to give you guys holiday music. Hopefully it's loud enough this time. Like one of my VODs I was looking at, I was like, that's very, very quiet. Why is that so large? So if you need your own break, now is the time. And if you're going to hang around, I appreciate your patience. I will BRB. Enjoy uh, Kevin McLeod's Jingle Bells Calm while I'm gone.
Thank you so much for your patience. I also grabbed myself a little bit of candy. Well, okay, I grabbed myself a lot of candy, but I'm only going to have a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's sour. I mean, I knew this. I haven't had any of these since I got them. <sighs> We're talking about children's cartoons. The green is going to be super sour too. Okay, so... I have the thought in my head that if I'm going to ghost marble this, that I should use the actual ghost marble color as the base color. So I kind of expected this. <clears throat> my OPI whites are in the same state that my OPI uh, blacks were. This is my boyfriend's scales walls, which is not white. It's off white. Is there anything left in this one? Some of these whites, I don't know. They're like almost empty. So. So should I mix them before I combine them? I don't know. I feel like otherwise the thick bottom part might not come out. <clears throat> Alright, purple squirrel. Enjoy your lurk. I hope the bedtime thing is successful. <laughs> okay. We'll just combine these real quick like we did with the black. Like this one, it was hard to tell if it was maybe already empty. Anything moving in there? No, I think that's already empty. Or needs to at least sit on its side for a while to like get out of the bottom but I should be able to combine these two you guys see that I hope you can see that We'll just do that for a minute. Oh, you couldn't see it. Oh, man. Worst camera angle ever. I'm sorry. It's like... That's mean. That's mean on my part. I'm so sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I was gonna say probably all three. Mmm. Okay. Enough candy. That that was enough candy. Okay. Or newly mixed white. Hmm. It would be nice. Let's just peek. If they were just a, like a clear, just hanging out. Just hanging out, waiting for me to find it. But. Like, if you were an OPI clear, where would you be? Not in there. <clears throat> mm. Mm. That's China glaze in there. And there were a couple more OPIs in there, but not clears. It's like, it's, it's super a mystery. Mm, unless, no, I don't think it's over there. Whatever. We'll, we'll stick with this Zoya one. It was working. It doesn't really matter. You can use whatever clear you want, really. So let's get a nice clean napkin. For the tutorial. Um, that, did I do a side by side with these? So yeah, these make a very, very subtle water marble. And this is what I'll be using for the ghost marble for day eight. Um, but for this one, we're just going to be using the white. <clears throat> starting off with clean dry nails we're going to begin with the base coat i'm using hollow taco peely base and you can use whichever is your personal preference thin coats I almost have trouble doing this like as thinly as I want to, but it doesn't dry so fast that it's like impossible to stroke off extra if you have extra. And a couple of these manicures were not able to use, or at least not able to finish with the super glossy taco but it is been like really interesting to see how the peely base performs under different conditions i mean generally good i mean it's a peel off base coat you can't you can only expect so much from it um the main problem that i've had with it like i think i've used it for almost every manicure since i got it just kind of trying to learn it um See, you really got to be mindful with wrapping your tips in your corners. Several of the manicures that I've done with the Peely Base, like that's where, that's where my lifting or chipping or losing the whole Peely starts is the corners. And I mean, in most cases, I can admit that I have been like sloppy with how I'm, how I'm wrapping my tips. 
Like when I've been very careful with wrapping my tips, the results have definitely been much better. Noticeably better. So. And it really, it's one of those things where like, it's a silly point to rush. Like just take your time and get it done properly. Okay. Almost done with this. I think letting it dry really, really well also helps a ton. <clears throat> I am sleepy. I have no right to be sleepy right now, but I am very, very sleepy. Ew. That sucks, son. Um. Okay. Like with it, with a base coat on, it's pretty invisible. Like you can kind of see that there's something going on there, but it is like standing out a lot. Yeah, I'm sure for just one dose it'll be fine. Just waiting for the right hand to get fully dry before I move forward. This will this will be easy too cuz like we won't need to do any protection. I mean, we will for the water marble, of course, but I'm I'm like trying to convince myself that this isn't going to be too bad cuz there's a little voice that's like what have you gotten yourself into, Colette? Like, why did you think a glitter placement was a good idea? But glitter placement is a good idea. It just, you know. <laughs> I hope I haven't bitten off more than I understand I've bitten off. If that makes sense. And yeah, I just, I, I just decided I needed more sugar. Mm. It's like a sweet and then a sour for just a minute. Mm. And then it's sweet again. <clears throat> How's the consistency on this? Yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> Do I need to, hmm. The tangy moment. I'm trying to think. Do I want to talk at all about the glitters here or is this just about the base color? I mean, maybe a passing mention. Except I don't remember for sure. If I got them at the dollar store or somewhere else. <clears throat> oh goodness, battery. Battery is dying. Well. Sorry for the shaking. Apparently I did not remember to change the battery. I thought I did. This battery in here is charged though. I do know that. I just thought didn't or didn't think that I would need to change it. Ta -da. It really wouldn't be such a pain in the butt if you didn't have to like unmount it every time, but the battery case is like literally underneath of where you hook it to the 
to the thingy, so you have to take it off every single time. And I'll plug this in. Um, unplug this. And plug this in. Plug that in. There we go. <clears throat> Might need to nap. Nap sounds like a good idea if you're tired. Never underestimate the power of a nap. This lemon. I think so. Mmm. Why is candy so addicting? Maybe it's that little part. Mmm, one more. <laughs> I'm not pro-nap, but only because I know what happens to me when I nap. And that's, it doesn't help anything. It just screws things even farther up. <clears throat> Before I start with the glitter, I'm just going to begin with a, okay, no, that's too much talking. Mm. maybe I should mention about how you could use a gradient or maybe I should just talk about what I'm actually doing why am I in this mood so much lately where I like question every whatever just question everything <clears throat> for my base color today I'm going to be using OPI Alpine Snow you can use whichever white cream you prefer Alpine Snow is almost a one-coater. Like, if I were marbling, that would be just fine. I'll probably do another thin coat just to even things out. But, like, I don't think you guys can pick up on camera that there's very many bald spots. And there aren't like a lot. There's just, I mean, there's some that are visible to me in person. Hmm. Because sugar. Not bad. Not flawless, but not bad. <laughs> Thank you, little piece of fuzz, for coming off nicely. A clean white manicure, honestly, is a, is a mood. I like it. I don't do it very often. But like it looks so nice. A lot of times when I'm like doing a real clean white base for for nail art, I'm like, hmm. Let's take a moment. I, sh I feel like I don't know 
I'm having one of those days where I'm not talking a lot and then before instead of just like my brain providing me with something I could talk about it's like you should have music going you're so boring like <laughs> but I feel like most of the time I mean like if I'm playing Hollow Knight of course there's like background music but when I'm doing nail art I feel like most of the time I'm talking enough that like background music is unnecessary but sometimes when I'm like a little quieter for whatever reason I just I feel kind of low energy today you guys um not like for any particular reason like I'm really I'm very pleased with how the series is going I just I don't know between fighting off the cold and just the series is a lot of work and I'm not like I'm not ahead of the game yet and I say that because like I don't I, I have I have stuff sitting on sitting waiting to edit tomorrow tomorrow's video is not edited yet so I don't feel like I like there's not like a comfy rest day in my future like no there's cram cram to get tomorrow and the next day's video done <laughs> and uh my favorite color to paint I I don't know if I could pick just one I mean like this was pretty good but there like the thumb is a good example that's showing up on camera like it's not fully opaque and there is some dissatisfaction like that maybe hollow taco one coat black that it like the formula is not perfect but the coverage is perfect and the formula is okay like you you kind of you kind of in some ways do have to make formula sacrifices to get something that's so pigmented like we were talking about earlier when you have a clear polish you could do whatever you want or need to it chemically to get it to behave how you want it to when you're working with a colored polish you're you're limited by what you have to put in it to make it become colored so yeah i maybe one coat black though i mean i've had some some polish where it's like <gasps> the application was just like juicy and luxurious but like none come to mind right now of course and juicy and luxurious are probably not very good descriptors for how polish applies but <laughs> it's what came out of my mouth hmm. all right just making sure we're fully opaque Like right now, it's just like the only thing you could hear was the sound of the brush gliding against your nail. Except like, I don't think there's actually a sound to that. <laughs> what should we talk about? We already went off on food tangent for quite a while. We could go off on the tangent. I don't know quite how I want to navigate the coal. Like, okay, bubble nails are very simple concept, not actually so simple execution if you start thinking about it too deeply. Because like for a water marble, so the way we've been doing with the water marble is we've been doing the ghost marble, right? Well, with something like the bubble technique, if I want to do chrome... I can't like do chrome and then do the bubble technique on top of that because I won't be able to see the water marble guide anymore. So if I want it all to be chrome, I'm going to have to like do it in, in a couple segments and I don't know how that's really going to work. Like to, to, it worked fine with, uh, with the glitter because I mean, as, as nice as, and as, like I want to say smooth as it looked like the glitter wasn't perfectly smooth but that wasn't visually obvious with with the gunmetal chrome if we if we want the look to be chrome and bubbled alternating in the water marble petals I would need to get the non 
bubbled petals to be very smooth which I don't know if I can do if I'm doing that as a sort of tracing sort of thing rather than just like stroking it on like stroking it on the nail like this okay yeah it's easy to get a smooth you know swipe but when you're working with a smaller nail art brush and you're like stroking everything in there like I, I just don't know if that's gonna work the other option is well both aren't aren't chrome then I'm like well does that really reflect the what I want or the other option is neither neither maybe neither is chrome maybe it's literally all about the texture I don't know also depends on like how I do it like first we were talking about stockings and we're like well maybe stockings are too hard to draw and or maybe stockings are dumb but like doing them in stockings or doing them in something other than just hey my nails a lump of coal would make life easier on the water marble side because there would be something other than just strictly the coal bubble texture to draw inspiration from I, I don't know I mean, we, we don't have to know tomorrow, but we need to know the day after the day after tomorrow. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> Did he just start, son? Fuck. <laughs> I want to watch. No, I'm not done. I can't do it yet. Oh. Okay, let's be grown ups. Damn it. <laughs> Draw. Like 20 minutes ago. Oh man. And and it's not that I you know, okay, yeah, I can watch when I'm done, but man, I like I won't know what's gone on. Ran randos for me are always fun to watch. Let me say that right up front. But they are more fun to watch start to finish. Um, just because you, you get to see the true debate of the seed you know what's going on you don't have to be that person that's sitting there going hey have you have you checked over here like all that all these reasons how do I want to do I want to show these off here will this fit on camera how much will fit on camera not that many that's gonna be cropped in a little bit more when I start recording too because the camera does that dumb thing so I guess we could do like this and turn this one I guess maybe that's partly on me though because then I get to feel less useful if I can't be like ooh have you been here and it's like the spot that you actually really do need to go because like that's about me and not about the streamer but okay we have an incentive to not have this take all fucking day now so let's make it happen and son give luke a shout out if somebody does like if you want to do a little multi-stream or you got another monitor and you need a little bit of hollow night action can't think of a better place to send you than over to top hat luke <clears throat> i have six different colors of small glitter that i'm going to be using for this waterfall they each have their own little lid where i have some spilled out and i'm going to be using an orange stick to pick them up and I'm going to be using a little bit of Zoya's top coat to apply them. I didn't want a top coat that dried too quickly because if it dries, then you obviously won't be able to apply the glitters. But I'm just going to start out painting some on just part of the nail and then going ahead and start to build the waterfall with glitter. You guys, this is this we're gonna be here a while. Mm 
No, I only want one. Oh, I don't know. I don't think you guys can quite see everything that's going on with the glitters, but they're not, they're not being nice to me. So, okay, I obviously need another topic to ramble on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. Nope. Just nudge it. Nudge it and go with it. gonna need I think a little bit more clear after this row and like not a lot because it's partly like softening up the polish underneath it also oh buddy this this is a project this is indeed a project I think that's two glitters that's gonna have to be okay So how are you guys? I want to get at least one done on camera before I catch up with the chat real quick. practicing 106 again it's like a prison that you can't escape wow i haven't i've been having uh controller issues so i haven't 106 in a while um i'm actually thinking about switching to keyboard um and i'm i'm not sure how i feel about that even as i say it aloud but it I, I have a new keyboard now and the one test run that i did like wasn't horrible so it's a it's a thing that might happen but like right now I'm in a position where I still want to play because I love it but like my controllers aren't reliable enough that I feel like I can do a run but I kind of kind of want to risk a run because I like it's been so long since I did an actual like a complete 106 attempt Some of these are like plinging off in directions that I don't want them to go. Whoa, please get down there. I saw Alexa was practicing before I started too. I know she took a little break. She was playing that Baba is You game. Which like I've, I've seen several people were playing, but I don't think I've actually watched anybody's playthrough. But I've like seen pieces of the game a few times. It looks kind of cool. That's two. I can tell that that's two. I need to really be careful with some of these that they are a single layer on the lid. Hmm.
Come on here. Mm. Hey, Conra. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not input heavy like Mega Man is input heavy, but like, I mean, you still got a lot of buttons to push. Yeah, I, I said, I mean, all the things that I said I would never do in Hollow Knight, I've done almost all of them. And so, like, apparently my word isn't shit when it comes to Hollow Knight. I'm never going to be doing fireball skips. I'm never going to do dark rooms. I'm never going to be doing spike tunnels. I will never, ever play on keyboard. Well, guess what? <laughs> like literally all these things and more I need more top coat there's no top coat here that just got like a lucky little side of stickiness that's stuck on This is going to be tough to do on top of a water marble. A challenge. Hmm. I have a tendency sometimes to like want to make patterns instead of let things be like uneven or random and this is supposed to be uneven so I'm trying to like not overthink the unevenness too much. Maybe I'd go to this one. I'm also like not keeping very good track of what I'm using where, so I'm just trying to make sure that I hit all of them. Like we're not gonna make these too tall, cause that like the taller they are. Uh. No, I've never played anything on keyboard. But um like the one the one attempt that I did was on my old piece of shit low profile keyboard and it actually like didn't suck. And now I've actually got like a good keyboard, so Excuse me. But it's like I have to be in a particular mood. Like when I'm when I'm doing that, I don't feel like I'm it's not like, hey, sitting down to play Hollow Knight. It's like, I'm sitting down to learn keyboard. You know, it's not just like a... Casual stroll through the game. I don't feel like I can play randos with keyboard yet because there's shit I just can't do. But like in my test run, like I managed to do spike tunnel skip on keyboard and shocked the hell out of myself. Um... The only thing I didn't get all the way through the game, but the only things that I really was having trouble with that I ended up like switching back to to controller for a minute because I just wanted to like move on were uh, the nightmare bosses. So I had to switch back for for Soul Tyrant, for Lost Kin, and for uh, for Failed Champ. Or did I manage to do Failed Champ on keyboard? I remember I felt like I could, but I kind of also remember, like, I just wanted to move on. Mm. 
Yeah, it definitely, like, it doesn't feel natural to me, and I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure if I've chosen a good layout for myself. I haven't, I haven't tried it again since I got my new keyboard. Whoa, that's too many. I don't want all of you. I just want, like, a couple of you. But 12 Days of Christmas is severely impacting my Hollow Knight time. Oh, that one was two. <clears throat> oh, keyboard with my nails. Um, I like I said, I haven't um tried the game again yet, but just having a proper like high profile keyboard helps a lot. When I was working my office job and I was basically on keyboard all day long. My nails were actually a lot longer then, so I, I don't really anticipate it being a problem now that I've got like a regular keyboard. <laughs> hey, Tex. No, we're trying to avoid glitter explosions. No, no splodies, please. New splooty poogers. Hmm. Oh, I ran out of... Ran out of clear. Like, it's hard to tell exactly. Maybe I should just do the whole nail at once. I'm going pretty fast. No, I probably should keep it half and half. <clears throat> yeah mashing is definitely like it's different it's not the same as like <coughs> excuse me guys mm. it's not the same as even like having to push buttons in quick succession like different buttons like ma mashing mashing is like it's its own it's its own challenge Oh, that cough was kind of, that cough was kind of rough. I didn't like that. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm so sick of having problems with my controller. And I don't want to be like Luke, like always on the search for the perfect controller. With, like, the controller graveyard or, like, controllers that we've decided we don't like. You know, I just wish my controller worked. Mm, should I squeeze in a couple more right there, maybe? Maybe just, like, two of a lighter one. It's, like, really close to the edge. Can I just get one more, like, right here? Hello? <clears throat> Th these are really really sparkly and pretty I, I must say you know I should have maybe given these a press earlier I don't want to do it while they're too wet I don't want them to actually move around I just want them to be uh, like as flat as they can be and kind of oriented on the same level See, we're almost done with one hand. This really wasn't bad at all. Really, it wasn't? Ooh, that's too many. There's just a couple parts that are, like, super nitpicky, like actually getting just one glitter to pick up on the orange stick.
<clears throat> oh. Like, what is going on? Max file size, that's what. I forget what it is, like 16 minutes or something? Okay. Just keep moving along at a steady pace and we're fine. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like even if I even if I get my controller issues resolved, like I'm never gonna have trust with my controller. Like I'll like it's always just waiting to come catch me in a moment. And then you're fucked. Of course, if I wasn't such a weenie, I'd just get a bunch of shit so that I could repair whatever breaks and then just, like, take it apart and fix it anytime it broke, but I'm afraid of being able to, like, put it back how it's supposed to be is all. Like, that sounds like a good way to make a mostly broken controller a fully broken controller, in my opinion, because I don't know how the fuck to do any of that. Like, the one is mostly good. I mean, it's okay for rando, but... Like, for an actual run, I need to be able to... to pogo an upslash in a straight line. Reliably. I feel like I'm kind of making them longer as I go. Like, more long and less short ones. Maybe that's just my imagination, though. <clears throat> and some of these little extras will just be sacrificed. For the good of the manicure. I'm definitely going to need to like sit up for a minute after this. Mmm. be so cute when I'm done though I hope I can manage my other hand like I just hope left hand cooperates today um maybe some of these hmm huh? And my brain is also already partly wandering, like beyond Christmas. Like what color of these would make a good New Year's one? We need like, you know what? just right there like 
maybe two more on this one one two and then then is this this color there then that look more balanced what do you think about the pinky pinky might need just like a tiddly touch more Hmm. Like one more here. And I think that's this color again. Like one more right there. Ooh, camera. Ooh, camera, please focus. I think you guys are getting the vibe though, right? so pretty okay oh. and you could watch watch me cry when I permanently break my controller <laughs> yes yes I don't okay so Tria Nera the reason I don't want to call it icicles is because we already have two designs that are called icicles we had the uh, the icicle vinyls and we had the icicle water marble from the vinyls um oh do i not have that one over here i got this one over here so this one and then the vinyls one that went with it those were already icicles so it is like waterfalls but yeah it's icicles though yeah i think that's good i think i'm getting fairly good stagger I mean, like, I could sit here and nitpick all day, like, oh, maybe there should be, like, another one there, whatever. But, like, I'm getting randomness. They're looking cute. <sighs> no. Um, it's with the bubble technique, Mrs. Shredo. And I'm just, I'm really not quite sure how I want to translate the bubble technique on to uh well i made kind of a mess here do i still have some L acetone out i don't i'm I'm not sure how to how application wise how that's going to translate to uh to a water marble the veto <laughs> oh do you have a long weekend son i think i remember you saying that now hey daggett a frozen waterfall Ooh, ooh. Oh yes. Then it's you it's like saying icicles without saying icicles. Oh I love it. God, my viewers are so smart, y'all. Half the half the series is names that you guys partly or fully inspired. Like most of the rest of the nails I actually didn't need much cleanup, but I did need just like a little here on the thumb, just to take care of that. I mean, how did I, like, okay, number one, how did I not think of that? It's a waterfall inspired by icicles. What should you call it? Not possibly anything frozen. That'd be silly. <clears throat> Got just a tiny bit of cleanup over here, too, while I'm at this. Mmm. 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 See the little thing? <laughs> Pull little right thumb. <laughs> when did this happen? Uh, <sighs> Poe little. Yeah, no, for the water marble too, Mr. Shredo. That's that's the challenge. You just you just can't win. You literally are not allowed to win ever in life. Today was the first year I have ever done ball ornaments, Dr. Crotron. We have done many poinsettias before. Oh man. That's just a hot mess and a half. I should have pushed that a little bit before I glommed polish on it. Like spackling. That That's what's happening right here. 
A little bit more polish. <laughs> just, just put more polish on. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine-ish. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a test of the super glossies. Self leveling. Okay, no, actually, we'll just overload it like this. It's, it's fine. It's fine, you guys. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a descriptor as to differentiate them from the teardrop ornaments, which are from all the holidays that you were at home crying in the corner. No, okay. That, I'm sorry if anybody feels that way. That's a horrible thing to make a joke out of, but I mean, sometimes that's how my brain works. <laughs> Stricken from record. Wait, did I actually say that? <laughs> I didn't mean it. I, I don't even know I actually said that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so same thing. Left handed. <laughs> uh, should we do something about this one? Probably. Dark humor is the most therapeutic. <laughs> okay, here we go. Left hand's nice and steady. <laughs> no, it's not. Just do our best. Also, kind of like a trick when your hands are like unsteady is almost like don't try to be super precise just kind of try to keep moving does that make sense do you know what I mean like instead of like dang it get on the end please like getting hello <laughs> if they would stick on here properly it would be easier but like getting real close and then like slowly like aiming so precisely like, kind of just try to go for it. Sometimes it works. Oh, also, I forgot to... Oh, I didn't do the thumb. We gotta do the thumb. I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Hmm... Ooh, careful. Careful where I'm pushing you. You okay, Beans? Heard a little cough. He's really cozy over there. Of course, my right hand's also like a little bit shorter than my left hand right now. So probably I can get away with slightly shorter waterfalls generally. Maybe. <clears throat> Did I already use this color? I'm already losing track of which color I used. I mean, not that I can't use the same color twice on a nail, I just... I'm trying to spread it around, but I have no method to my spreading it around. Alright, second half of the nail. That was probably far, far too much clear. 
Uh, go with this. I know I haven't used this one yet. Oh, that's two glitters. Can I just... That one, that got messy. Kind of had to mash them around there. Then I'll do the thumb, then I'll finish this hand. <clears throat> okay, searching for my next topic to ramble on. I do have a pretty good idea of what's going to be happening for days 10, or days 11 and 12. Um... And that is going to be, as, as Dr. Crotron put in his top decorating list, poinsettias. You know, I was at the store, like, who buys, no, no hate or anything, just literally curious. Who buys these fucking, like, blue sparkle poinsettias? I mean, I'm all for sparkle in most things, but, like, sparkly plants are just so obviously, like, fake that it's not my jam. And I kind of don't get it. Like, who who is this? Who is this for? What is this for? What's wrong with just a regular poinsettia? I mean, Christine did that. Let her let her cats pick her nail polish. I mean, if you trust your cast to have semi-good taste. <coughs> mm. Yeah. That that little sound in my cough makes me think that I'm not just coughing because it's dry. And I'm not just coughing because I lost my voice. I'm coughing because I'm actually kind of sick. Which is lame. Super lame. Okay. We don't want them to get like far to the side because then we won't be able to seal them in with top coat, which is an important step. Anytime you're messing with bunches of glitter on top of your nails. <laughs> no they're not fake they're like real ones that have been dyed and and sprayed with glitter I mean, when I, when I was a kid, you had red poinsettias, and you had white poinsettias. And that was the end of that story. Hmm, maybe one more of these. A little go go there. Oh oh. Sorry, am I like, okay, I'm not that far off camera. I'm just like getting distracted. Mm. Whoa, that got very soft. Can I... Slightly too much top coat. <clears throat> mm. 
<laughs> I mean, I think red is still definitely like the traditional color. And I think white is still like a natural color. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that just got hybridized, whatever. Before I was born, so I just thought it was natural. But like these one, like they almost look like Easter colors. They're like pastel, weird colors and like all this glitter. And it's just like... It didn't know what's up with that. Mm, maybe one more. Considering this is the thumb. Mm. Oops. I think a couple of those went in the other little. The next top over. Okay, no, just one of you. Just one of you. Ugh. Just one of you. God damn it. No, now I have all four of them. Okay, that's just one. Please stick there. Hmm. Thumb is so wide, it's taking as long as like two fingers. Maybe that's an exaggeration. They look so different, like applied on the nail, than they do just sitting in a pile. Like I said, sometimes it's hard to remember which one I'm actually like need to, need to use. Whoa. So, for the water marble, it's going to be basically just the same like this, except we're going to be tracing the water marble pattern. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how hard or not hard that's going to be, really. I think, I mean, for the most part, it shouldn't be too bad, but those might be famous last words. Like, I don't feel like this is horrible, but also I will need to make a call Like, how opaque do I want to try and get it? If I actually want it to be, like, full-on opaque, I'm going to need to do more than one coat. On the other hand, I mean, this looks cool with a little bit of gaps in between there. And I'm sure it will still look cool if it's, you know, like, trying to go into more of a design. <clears throat> Is that his first dreamer? Excuse me. Excuse me.
<clears throat> Man. Okay. It would be cool to even do kind of like an ombre like each nail in just one color but then like a whole bunch of different colors over all your nails type of a design I don't know that would probably end up being super super tedious I mean this is already pretty tedious and we're not even covering like half the nail if I was in the right mood though I'd be, I'd be probably down for it Not just any old day of the week manicure. <laughs> Nail sized glitter. No, I, I like doing a glitter placement every now and then. Larger glitter can actually, like, I would like a glitter that's like between this size and my Martha Stewart size. Like, that's kind of a hole in my collection. Like, I have larger glitters. I have small glitters. But I don't really have any medium-sized glitters. Come on here. Mmm. There we go. <clears throat> also okay so like last week I did stream on Friday this week I'm not planning to stream on Friday but I might sneak one in if I'm home early enough um or if for some reason these just are wearing really poorly it might be a nail stream I'm hoping like I thought about doing the waterfall at the tip of the nail and oh, with the glitters I felt like come here the base was a safer bet as far as like getting catchy and caught on things um But I, I don't know. It might might surprise me. It might wear really poorly. And if that's the case, then I would probably... Like, I have to at some point pick a design to only wear one day. So that we can wrap up on schedule or in a timely fashion. I've given myself almost enough time this year. <laughs> much, much better than like last year or previous years though. But still not not really as early as it would be nice to to be. Mm. <clears throat> a stream just for you are you talking about tomorrow are you are you aware that you'll be requiring entertainment i i do like streaming on fridays but a lot of times i just get home so late it feels weird to stream Also, Friday used to be Dr. Crotron's night. Maybe, maybe if things don't suck too much, tomorrow could be a Dr. Crotron night. Shit, which one of these was this? I'm going to go for this one. I literally lost track of which one I'm actually working on. Get on there. Okay, I think I chose correctly. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
I feel like, well, probably I'm just going slower. I feel like it's drawing faster on this hand, but it's probably just me going slower. Because left hand is tricky. Hello? God, please stick on the stick. <clears throat> After this finger, whoa, it's a lot of shaking. After this finger, I should sit up for a minute and give my back a break. Where did the other one go? I thought I had two stuck on there. Like, if the two line up properly, I could just, like, apply two on the nail at once, and that's kind of nice. Like, speeds it up just a tad. A tad bit. trying not to lean too heavily on any one color like some of them like the more opaque blue and the hollow like I kind of feel myself possibly reaching into those more than the others some of the others too are kind of close to each other so like I don't know I'm sure it'll all be fine once I'm done Whew. That's about, you know, I think I just need like, just one more like right there. there. Better. Oh, is it your birthday? All right, Amethyst. Yeah, of course, also maybe Luke. Oh, because I bet Liz, I bet tonight is the start maybe of Luke's long weekend for this week. Because Luke has lots of long weekends at the end of this year. You know what? I kind of want to... Sorry. One, one more tiny addition here on this one. Okay. Three nails to go. I also have to figure out, so not tomorrow, but the Friday after that is going to be sugar cookie making day. And then that Sunday is going to be Sugar Cookie Frosting Day, a.k.a. the actual cookie day. But usually I also, like in addition to being kind of in charge of the Sugar Cookie Frosting, like I usually make another batch of cookies. I usually make fruity foldovers. I don't know when I'm going to be able to sneak those in. If I recall last year, I actually did not end up making them because 12 days of Christmas was like too much in the way. And I just, I ran out of time. So I, like it's, like I kind of, I'm like, I don't know. I mean, the sugar cookies are a huge project just on their own. It's a very similar pattern to the last one. Some of these are getting kind of, well, whatever. <clears throat> I don't know. The fruity foldovers are also kind of a lot of work because they're another one that has to be like rolled out and cut. Well, it's just like a piece of glitter. 
wasn't even like a fucking whole piece of glitter. So they're kind of labor intensive that way. And I've thought of like making a different kind, but like that's my signature kind. Just got claw. That's a good moment. Well, hopefully it's a good moment. Like it's kind of frustrating because like all of a sudden you can go a lot of places, but you kind of already can go a lot of places in Super Junk Pit because of like the way that it's that it's set up. Did he do Open World or did he start in King's Pass? Open World would confuse me even more. I feel like like I'm already confused. Okay, that's crooked. Fuck. Oh, that whole situation is crooked right there. Oh. Okay. Keep going. Mm, maybe these... I'm, is it my application? Is it the way I'm holding my hand? Like every, every glitter almost on this finger feels crooked to me right now. Cause it is. Okay, here's how we're gonna fix that. We're gonna do a low one. And then the next tall one will just make really straight. Mm -hmm. We'll go with this one. Hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me, horrible. Uh, I'm glad. This is a po power of positive thinking. I'm glad that we didn't try and do the snowflakes. Oh, what got on there? Ew. Because I would be really going batty if, like, if the snowflakes were as crooked as the waterfalls are, I would be unhappy. Because I feel like they're, like, snowflakes are supposed to be precise, you know? I feel like this is more forgiving. Yeah, more forgiving. And, uh... Like, it's not making me as ragey if there's a little imperfection. I mean, I'm not happy about it, but it's not like, raw type of a situation. Okay, suddenly this nail's going quickly. Oh, uh, maybe one more. Will you cooperate here? Yeah. Um, let 
then a few more here and then maybe a couple more hollows at the very edge Ugh. okay that one didn't stick at all Okay. Oh. oh. That was good. Okay, two more nails. This one, I think this one should have like a longer one in the middle because I don't really have that on any of these other ones. So that means. Like possibly some like I keep going to long to short maybe I should or short short and then long maybe do like long and then some more shorts we'll see it'll work out there's no mistakes here This is your world. Nobody can tell you that it's wrong. How can it possibly be wrong when it's this sparkly? The answer is, it can't be. Sparkle is always the right answer. Actually, that's probably not true. There are probably times when sparkle is actually not the answer. And my friend, those are sad times. Probably. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that went much higher than I wanted it to. Can I? Yes. Just go like right there. Okay, let's. There, it's fine. It's all fine. Over overthinking color choices, sorry. The delay is due to overthinking color choices. The hollow one seems to have more pieces that are kind of like broken or not quite the right shape. I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's not true, but it feels like that. Like that one. Like that's not a whole piece of glitter. Mm. Okay. <gasps> that was almost bad napkin got a little close to the edge of the table <laughs> fold in the napkin napkin fold cuff of shirt mm, could have been a problem wasn't but could have been 
Nearly was. It's okay, though. I want everybody to know that it's okay. I would also like you to know I'm not looking forward to getting these back inside their little jars. I'm, maybe maybe I can make like a little paper funnel that I can just put in there and just like dump the whole. You know, that's an excellent idea. It'll be fine. It'll, it'll be Clark. One more. Real tall. Oofta, my stomach just growled. I wasn't hungry like when I started. And I knew that I would probably be starving by the time I was finished, but like I didn't want to eat beforehand. I wanted to get started. Mm. Overthinking things again. <laughs> my specialty is overthinking things all things all the time overthought that's more than one scoot just scoot you Scoot you right here. Mm. Yeah, like that. Okay, that was not a whole piece of glitter, so maybe it's not just the silver. I just was noticing it most with the silver. Can I just like get you to go right there? Mm, maybe? Mm, ish. Okay, a little tiny bit more top coat right here. I know I've been ignoring Chad again for a little while, but I just, I'm like, I need to get, I need to finish. Like, please let me finish now. That was shaky. That was really super sketch. That was super sketch. I should bring this one up just a couple more. Like that. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh no, we got a stray glitter. That's not supposed to be there. Get out. Okay. <laughs> okay, one more thumb. Poe little right thumb. And then we'll be done. I'm 
try to make sure Poe little right thumb has a nice glitter frozen waterfall. Oh, those little holes are just killing me. You guys can't see them. That makes me feel better. But I know they're there. Couple more of these. Shit. Well, it's fine. It's Polo little right thumb. You you can't tell that it's a mistake. It's fine. I promise it's fine. You know what would probably help. candy mm. the sour moment After this, we'll just need to do a uh, top coat. We'll be done. Oh my gosh, it really honestly is so fiddly. But I know it's going to be worth. I mean, I know it's going to be worth. Hey, Basenji. Does he have any magic, son? The more magic I have, the more confident I am in a lost kin fight. Did I say hi, I, I saw you. I think I did, but... My brain is... My brain only knows this now. <laughs> There's nothing but glitter. like three I do not need three I only need one 
Mama Lunatica. Thank you for the follow. Or maybe it's Mama Lunatica. I don't know. But welcome, and thank you for the follow. Oh. Why is the last nail so hard to be patient on? <laughs> I mean, it'll be good to have a brownie for tomorrow, son. I mean, that doesn't sound like a bad thing. This is when change of plans are fine. Oh, I cannot have a brownie today. I must have my brownie tomorrow. Beanie's awake. I mean, don't get your hopes up. He's not coming over here. Or maybe he is. Beanie, you gonna come see me? You gonna come see me, buddy? Bye, bye. I think that's a no. <laughs> no, he's pretty comfy. I guess when he's over there, it just makes me glad that he, like, so often does cooperate with my desires and hang out on his chair. I mean, there's not actually very much room on his chair right now, but the box is only there because he's been on the bed the entire stream, just about. Can you guys still... I'm sorry, I'm getting, like, out of focus or out of camera working on the thumb here. Trying to keep it as straight as possible at the same time, like, cutting myself slack for the left hand, because, man, it was a struggle. Maybe three or four rows more and we should be done. Dang it. back into a Dillard's was it crazy I mean I think it's like oh no I got a fucking extra one on there it seems like it's not that you know like Christmas is still a while away but I think like it's already crazy holiday time hmm Hmm. Um. Okay, let's just finish this off. Let's just let's just get good, Kappa forehead. Maybe I should have flattened the tip a little so that it wasn't quite so pointy. Like I wanted a small tip because I feel like it's easier to place it, but it probably is a little bit easier to pick up if I had flattened it just a bit. Do I need just like a couple more like right there like there and there okay 
Okay, so carefully moving all my little lids of glitter out of the immediate combat zone. Um, I think we're just going to do like this. I'll hit it up with my uh, lint roller when I'm done. Okay. Ooh, oh man, crunches and crackles. Oof. Yeah, I fought him with just fireball the other night, but I got through because I had on uh, spore. So I was able to heal pretty much whenever, well, not whenever I wanted, but whenever I was healing, I didn't have to worry about the ghosts. <clears throat> All right, you guys. Now, I've been kind of, as I went along, just like making sure we're, you know, don't have any super weird angles or like glitters that are in the nail sideways or poking up a bunch you know just a soft press to make sure they're they're in there smoothly and then we can move on where's this little get out of here get out of here <clears throat> finally i'm going to finish everything off with a top coat and today I'm using Hollow Taco Super Glossy Taco. Oh. Okay, wrapping my corners well. I mean, I dig this. And I think it's going to make a sick water marble. Like. It's going to be good. And what's really nice here, and what I actually was not sure of, um, we're not getting any bleeding. Like, I thought it was possible on a couple of them, particularly like the strongest metallic blue one, that we might get some blue streaks. But these are designed to be nail art glitters, and they are living up to that. Like, craft glitters, a lot of times, we talked about this, you go to top coat them and you get in streaks and the colors just pulling all over the place. Camera. <sighs> too too sparkly. You know it's too sparkly when the camera can't focus. Camera, please. <laughs> Dresses and evening now gallons to buy collapsible water bottle and leave the store. Oh, that does not sound like a fun trip. Does not sound like a fun trip. Hmm. The the that one line of blue looks kind of weird to me. Like it doesn't have the shine the others do. Like what did something happen there? <gasps> oh no! For a minute, I thought I had a glitter inside my top coat because I was seeing one that was on <laughs> that was on the mat behind the bottle. I was like, oh no! But it's fine. So, a couple of these, the index on the thumb in particular, will be a test of uh, the Super Glossy self-leveling. 
you know, we had to do some touch-ups due to klutziness. Yeah, I think these are going to look just fine. Polo, polo, right thumb. Oh, we got a stray stranded. Fuck. You're not, you're not supposed to be there. You don't belong here. Got it. Don't know where it went. But it got the hell out of here. Okay. Oh, you guys. Camera. Let me, uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, there we go. I mean, the out of focus does do some things for the reflection, but for you guys to actually see like what's going on here. That looks really classy and cute. I love this. <gasps> you guys, I'm so pleased with how the series is going this year. Like I'm tired and like slightly overwhelmed, but like I really, we've we've had a couple struggles, like no joke, but like overall everything is turning out so good, so shiny. Mm. <laughs> Do I want a double top? I'm you know. I might put on another layer of top coat here in a minute. Not on stream though, because I want to get us over to Luke and another layer of top coat isn't going to be that exciting and it's not going to happen until this one is like a little bit drier anyway. Descending dark. Nice. Unless of course there's anybody, is there anybody nail art streaming? <laughs> Every now and then it happens and I'm always like, what? Nail art? Nail art that's not me on Twitch. People streaming under my nail art tag. Yeah, okay. Are there nail arts that I don't know about in Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege? Brick Eye will like, get away with it because he's doing Hollow Knight and Hollow Knight does have nail arts. Wait, it does? Wait, was that in response to my question or was that in response to something else? I don't know. Um, okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure we're going to Luke, but let me just make sure who else is going on here. Make sure who else and what else is going on here. Um, <laughs> wow. I mean, Toby has a very uh, intriguing stream title. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to send you guys over there. I'm going to send you guys. Yeah. Yeah. You already knew. Most of y'all already guessed. Wow. Almost two hours. I swear it wasn't that long ago that you said. And then it, that was only like 20 minutes at that point. But apparently it was longer than I thought. Um. Oh, it was in response to my nail art. Okay. So you guys, I feel like that was a very efficient stream. Um, we did we did our testing, we did our peeling, we did a full manicure, and we're only just a little bit over three hours. Um, for me, that's a quick manicure stream. Um, you know, when I have to do everything, as far as like you know, strictly just sit down and do a manicure, yeah, we could do it quicker. But like, start to finish and then some on this. <sighs> Okay, so like this, this is an idea that I literally didn't have this morning. I didn't have this idea until I sat down, pulled out the glitters, thinking about the snowflakes. And I was just like, what if, what if I just did a waterfall with these? And I'm, I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I really am. Um, 
Top Hat Luke is a, a good friend and he is currently playing the uh, new Rando 3.0 beta super junk pit, which means that everything in the game is randomized. And it's a super lot of fun to watch. And, um, yeah, I don't know. You can go in there and span some beams if you got them. You can go in there and, and uh, just say hello or say good luck. You already have this shout out already. All right, son. Um, but yeah, like I said, maybe possibly a Hollow Knight stream tomorrow. Otherwise, we will be back on Saturday for the water marble version of this. Ooh, it's going to be water marble. I'm, I'm quite looking forward to that as well. I mean, just like, look, look at that. Just imagine that in like swoops, swoops and petals. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure on the design yet, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely evening, afternoon or morning, wherever you are. I'm going to hang out with Luke and uh, clean up and get myself some dinner. And uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. Luke Raid. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Um, before I forget. How are the nails? Oh, the nails. <laughs> I hear there's lots of glitter. <laughs> you must have been getting updates from people who were watching me, just like I was getting updates from people who were watching him, because he already knew about the glitter, but... If you uh, are watching this in the future on YouTube, uh, once again, you are certainly invited to subscribe if you love nail art. And if you'd like to come follow live for nail art and uh, other shenanigans, you can do that over at twitch.tv slash MSLP. I hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching. <laughs>